Planet Earth is full of hidden secrets, many of them buried beneath the waves. On this episode of Deep Blue Discovery, we're journeying into our past, exploring pieces of human history, some once thought lost forever. Whether it's centuries old or abandoned by our recent ancestors, we're about to showcase some humble shipwrecks, each one accompanied by a decent story. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up, the monks who met their maker after crossing crazy pirates. But first, northwest Italy, where two survey divers have stumbled across something strange. 50 metres below the surface, Eduardo Sabrini and Gabriele Succi have made an astonishing discovery. What they're looking at is 2,000 years old, the lost cargo of a Roman ship. The area they were surveying in 2019 is usually inaccessible to scuba divers, but these two had aqua scooters. When they found the amphoras, they knew they had uncovered something from the classical world. The design style of the pottery suggests it was originally from ancient Rome's Gallic provinces. It was a priceless find. Much more recently, Eduardo and Gabrielli found this wreck. They uncovered the remains of a 16th century ship at the bottom of the Mediterranean. Investigations are still ongoing, but it's thought the find might be one of the largest Italian merchant vessels of the 1500s, a wooden ship responsible for transporting cannon and ammunition. It was suggested in June 2020 that this may be the remnants of a galleon that sank in 1579, called the Santo Spirito. Researchers have been looking for the wreck for decades. It's expected to give us some serious insight into Renaissance-era seafaring. This underwater graveyard in Fuencaliente, Spain, is only 20 years old, but the story behind it goes back four centuries. 400 years ago, Portuguese missionary Inácio de Azevedo and 39 Jesuit colleagues boarded a boat in La Palma. In terms of trade, this was a wealthy part of the world, and that made the sea a dangerous place. French pirates led by Captain Jacques de Sores soon boarded the monk's ship, stealing the cargo and throwing the crew overboard. They all drowned. In 1742, the Pope declared the murdered monks martyrs, Hundreds of years later, 40 crosses were dropped to the bottom of the ocean, a memorial near to where the killings took place. The cemetery somehow brings to life the story of something that happened in the year 1570. Still to come on Deep Blue Discovery, one of the most famous diving sites in the world may be thanks to a computer malfunction. First, though, off the coast of Egypt's Ras Mohammed are the remains of a British cargo ship sunk by the Nazis during World War II. The Merchant Navy's SS Thistlegorm was built in 1940 and was only on her fourth mission in 1941 when German bombers discovered her in the Red Sea. Safe Anchorage F would be her final resting place. She took two direct hits and went down with most of her cargo, including Bren guns, ammunition and armoured vehicles. Using information from local fishermen, the wreck was rediscovered in 1955 by the famous diver Jacques Cousteau. It was then forgotten until 30 years ago, when nearby Sharm El Sheikh became a popular diving location. At a depth of just 30 metres, the wreck is easily accessible and some of her wartime cargo is still intact. This 
this is one of the most famous wreck sites in the world. The Zenobia became a diving hotspot after it sank in 1980 on its maiden voyage. The ship went down in the Mediterranean near Cyprus when a recurring software malfunction caused her to capsize. Amazingly, there were no casualties, but more than 100 trucks went down with her. She now rests on her port side in 42 metres of water. For pro freedivers like Georgina Miller here, it's a dream location. Not only is the wildlife incredible, including barracudas, but most of the ship's cargo is still down there. She was carrying 200 million pounds worth of vehicles, and experienced divers can really see what was on board at the time. Off the coast of Key Largo, Florida, is a warship with decades of service under her belt. The USS Spiegel Grove came to life in 1955 and was only decommissioned 30 years ago. At hefty cost, she was deliberately sunk off Florida, creating an artificial reef and another epic diving site. It didn't all go according to plan and actually took a hurricane to blow her into the right position. Nowadays, it's possible to explore the rooms and corridors and it's become a thriving ecosystem for marine wildlife. Finally, these divers use Google Maps to uncover the location of this wreck off Guadalupe. It's just a ferry, but what's amazing about this one is the wildlife. Nicholas Ball and his freediving friends encountered a lionfish during their trip. Lionfish stings are extremely deadly. They cause extreme pain, sweating, breathing problems, and even paralysis. It's not a creature you want to touch in the wrong place. Lionfish tend to like artificial reefs like shipwrecks, perhaps because they give them a place to hide. They are quite conspicuous, after all. We're fully aware this episode hasn't featured much wildlife at all, but there's so much human history hidden in the ocean, we thought we'd showcase just a few interesting discoveries. They're interesting because many of them can be visited by normal members of the public. Just imagine what it's like exploring a ship that's completely frozen in time. Eerie and unnerving, but at the same time, addictive and unforgettable. We hope this has given you a tiny taste of the past, and when you think about what secrets the sea might still be keeping, it's almost awe-inspiring. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. We're back next week with more awesome sea life facts and footage.